Hi guys! Welcome to my class. Please subscribe so that you will be kept updated on the next math lesson. Then, like and share so that you can also help other students. Our topic for today is to compare decimals. You are going to learn it here the easy way. Before we proceed to our main lesson, I would like to ask you one question. Are you drinking water on an empty stomach after waking up? Drinking water after waking up with an empty stomach helps purify your body's internal system. Do you know that? Who is going to purify your body's internal system? No one! It's only you! Drinking water with an empty stomach after waking up aids in colon cleansing. The nutrients that enter our body will be absorbed better. This encourages the production of hematopoiesis, also called new blood. Do you know that? Let us move to the main objective of our lesson. We are going to compare decimals. Let us work on this example so that you will be guided. Wadima bought a basket of dates fruits. She took two pieces and measures the length. One piece measures 3.5 cm and the other is 3.7 cm, which is longer. Let us use the number line strategy. We are going to plot the measurements of the dates fruits on it. We are going to locate the measurements of the dates fruits on the number line. One measures 3.5 and the other one measures 3.7. So we are going to plot it on the number line. Then I want you to remember that the numbers going to the right are greater than the numbers going to the left. You can instantly identify which number is greater. 3.7 is to the right of 3.5. Therefore, 3.5 is smaller or less than 3.7. Let us use another strategy by lining up the measurements or the decimals on its proper place value. Then, we can immediately identify that the ones digit are the same. You will be able to detect on the tenths digit which is greater. So, 7 is greater than 5. Therefore, 3.5 is less than or smaller than 3.7. Let us work on another example so that you can follow. Write greater than, less than, or equal to in the circle to make the statement correct. We are going to compare 9.38 with 9.3. The ones digit are the same. Both are number 9. The tenths digit are also the same. Both are number 3. The hundreds digit is not the same. Why did I say that? On the first number, the hundreds digit is 8. And on the second number, there is no hundreds digit. I want you to take note that if you are comparing two numbers, and one number is missing on its decimal place, it will automatically be equal to zero. Accordingly, the hundreds digit is not the same because the first number has eight in the hundreds digit and the second number is zero. So we can identify that 9.38 is greater than 9.30. Let us work on another example so that you can understand it well. Plot its decimal on the number line and write less than, greater than, or equal to in the circle to make the statement true. Let us work on number 1. 1.14 and 1.12. We can straight away plot 1.12 and 1.14 on the number line. The numbers going to the right is greater than the numbers going to the left. Accordingly, 1.14 is greater than 1.12. Now, let us move to the next number. Let us compare 
5.4 with 5.46. Plotting 5.4 and 5.46 on the number line, you can identify right away which one is greater. Accordingly, 5.4 is less than 5.46. Let us work on another example so that you can hit it off. Write less than, greater than, or equal to in the circle to make the statement true. Let's work first on number 1. Let us compare 1.0 with 0.007. The number we are comparing is up to the thousands place. So we're just going to add two zeros on the first number. And we can instantly identify which one is greater. So, 1.000 is greater than 0.007. Now, let us move to number 2. We are going to compare 3.865 with 3.97. We are comparing numbers up to the thousands place again. So, we are just going to add 0 after 3.97. By comparing the tenths place, we can spot right away that 9 is bigger than 8. Therefore, 3.865 is less than 3.97. Let us compare 7.80 with 7.8. I mentioned a while ago that if you are comparing two numbers and the place value have a missing number on the other number, it is automatically B0. Therefore, 7.80 compared with 7.80, what do you think will be the answer? Of course, it will be equal because 7.80 is the same as 7.8. To wrap it up in comparing decimals, you can use the number line strategy. Just plot the given values on the number line and you can right away identify which number is greater. Just always take note that the number on the right is always greater than the number on the left. You can also use the strategy by aligning the numbers on its proper place value. Then identify right away which one is greater. This lesson is very easy. You can identify right away which number is greater by using the number line strategy or aligning the numbers in its proper place value. Now, let us continue our discussion on drinking water with an empty stomach after waking up. Do you know that water helps our body flush out toxins? Our kidneys do an amazing job of cleansing and ridding our body of toxins as long as our intake of fluid is adequate. This is according to Kenneth Elner, an Atlanta-based dermatologist. I want you to listen very well. Water helps our body flush out toxins. Your kidneys do an amazing job of cleansing and ridding our body of toxins as long as our intake of fluids is adequate. This is according to Kenneth Elner, an Atlanta-based dermatologist. I will never stop reminding you what Sheikh Zayed wrote for us. Education is like a lantern which lights your way in a dark alley. We need to give importance to our education so that we're not going to be blindfolded in our future. So guys, in case you have confusion on some part of the lesson, I want you to go back. Revise it again, slowly, carefully, and I know you can get it. Remember, life is a math equation. You cannot get the most of it if you cannot convert the negatives into positive. I took some health information about drinking water on an empty stomach in alifeofproductivity.com. You can check it out there, guys. I want you to score high in math. Then, be wise and healthy. Okay? Till next math lesson. Bye-bye!